welcome back second graders. Today we're on Eureka Module 4, Lesson 14. So let's go ahead and check out our objective. Our objective today is we're going to represent subtraction with and without the decomposition when there is a three digit minuend. So this is the same objective that we had for lesson 14. And what it just means is that we're going to have a three digit number on top and we're going to subtract a two digit number down below. So again, things to remember, uh, we have a unit of 10 and it breaks down to 10 ones. And um, when we add, it's the opposite. We have 10 ones and that is the same as one unit of 10. The difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. And then we have decomposing and that's breaking apart a number. So let's go ahead and also remember this. When I have a tens and ones chart or a hundreds, tens and ones chart, I can have place value chips, but that's also the same as when I represent the number with just dots. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. I'm going to be working with this. So let's go ahead and get started. There are 136 students in second grade at Miles David Elementary. 27 of them brought bag lunches to school. The rest buy a hot lunch. How many students are buying hot lunch? So like lesson 14, I'm going to go ahead and start with a tape diagram. So there are 27 students that brought their own lunch to school. And then I'm trying to figure out how many students buy hot lunches. So how would I do that? Well, Luckily, they gave me the number of total students, and the number of total students was 136. So I know that when I have a tape diagram like this, I can take the whole and subtract the part. So when I look at a number bond, I put the whole on the top, and then I subtract the part. So my whole is 136, and my part is 27. To figure out the part, I just need to subtract those numbers. So Let's go ahead and line those numbers up. And you can see I have them nice and straight. They are written vertically and I'm ready to subtract. So let's go ahead and make our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. And I'm going to go ahead and make my number. I have 136 and I'm going to take away 27. So let's go ahead and really look at this number and let's look at the number in the ones place. So I'm looking at my ones and I see that there's a six on top and a seven down below. So more on the top or are there more on the floor? Well, there's more on the floor, so I'm going to go next door and I'm going to get 10 more. I'm going to cross off my three and now I have two tens. So after I do that, I also have to replace my six with 16. So let me go ahead and show you what our tens does when I do that. So there goes my 10, it goes into the ones place, and then it turns into 10 ones. Now for today, I'm going to go ahead and draw those ones for you because when you're at home, sometimes you have to do this yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with you. And now I have my 10 ones. So now I'm ready to subtract. So let's go ahead and look at 16 take away seven. I'm going to take away seven. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to take away five, six, seven. So how many am I left with right here? I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm left with nine ones. Now we're ready to subtract the numbers in our tens place. So let's look at our tens. I have two take away two. So if I'm going to take away two, I'm taking away those two. How many do I have left? I have zero left. And let's go ahead and look at our hundreds place. Um, I didn't have to do anything there. One take away zero is one. So 109 students are buying lunch at the school today. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I have my hundreds, tens, and ones chart, and my first problem is 172 take away 48. Now, here are my numbers lined up nice and straight. So since they're nice and straight, I am ready to subtract. So what is the first thing that I do? Well, I have to make my number. So I have 172. 100, seven tens, 
two ones. So now let's go ahead and really look at that top number right there. And I'm going to use my magnifying glass to focus in on that number because I've got to look at the top number and the bottom number. So let's go ahead and really focus on our ones place right there. Two, take away eight. Now, are there more on the top or more on the floor? There's more on the floor, so I have to go next door and get 10 more. So instead of having seven tens, I'm going to have six tens, and I'm going to slide that 10 over, and here we go, I have 10 new ones. So I don't have two ones anymore, I have 12 ones. So when I have 12 ones and I take away eight, that leaves me with four ones. Now that we're done with that, we can move on to the tens. So let's look at our tens. I now have six tens and I'm going to take away four. So there goes those tens and how many do I have left? Two tens. And now let's focus on our hundreds. I have 100, let's take away none. So I'm left with 100. Okay, now that we did that problem, 172 take away 48, let's go ahead and look at that number sentence again. 172 take away 48 equals 124. So if I look at that number in a number bond, it looks like this. 172 is the whole, 48 is a part, and 124 is a part. Now, did you know that you can take this number and use it in an addition sentence? So remember when we are using related facts, if I need to find a part, I need to start with a whole and take away the other part like we did on the last problem. But let's just say that they said 48 students buy hot lunch and 124 students bring their lunch. How many students are there in all? Well, if we need to find the whole, all we have to do is add. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. I'm going to take my part and my part, and I'm going to line them up and add them. So remember, the first thing that I do is I look at my ones place. Now, what is four plus eight? Now, when you're adding, you don't have to ask yourself more on the top or more on the floor. When you're adding, you can just add. So four plus eight, well, I'm gonna start with eight because it's easier for me to add four more to eight. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So four plus eight is equal to 12. Now remember, when you have four plus eight and that is equal to 12, well, remember, I can't squeeze two digits in my ones. The number 12 is the same as 110 and two ones. So if it's the same as 110 and two ones, well, I'm going to split those numbers and I'm going to write it like this. I have my ones right there lined up with my ones and then I have my new 10 below right here. Now remember, I don't put that 10 in my answer. I put it right there on the equal sign so I don't forget to add it. So now I'm ready to move on to the tens. So when I look at my tens place, I have two plus four and then I can't forget my one below. So two plus four is six. My new one below makes it seven. And then I have my hundred. So I have 100 and I don't add anything to it. I just bring it down. So is that true? Does this number bond kind of work like a fact family? It does. So I can write this number sentence too. I can write 124 plus 48 is equal to 172. Now here's one thing that's really cool. We can have 48 plus 124 is equal to 172. I can switch them up. And then when I subtract, I can also take my whole and subtract this part and I get this part. Isn't that amazing? So let's go ahead and just take a look at this problem and then we'll move on to our seesaw activities. Lisa solved 166 take away 48 vertically and on her place value chart. Explain what Lisa did correctly and explain what she needs to fix. So I'm looking at Lisa's problem and she's got a great start. So I can see right here that she looked at the six and the eight and she said there's more on the floor so she had to go next door. So now she has five tens and she has 16 ones. She did that beautifully, look at her work. Let's check her subtraction. Let's see if 16 take away eight is equal to eight. 
So 16, and she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and she has eight ones. So she's correct there. Let's look at her tens right here. Okay, I see that she has five tens, take away four tens. So I'm going to check right here and let's go ahead and take away four tens. One, two, three, four. How many tens are left? There is one 10 left. She wrote zero. So I can see where she made her mistake and it's just a little tiny mistake. So she's got a great start, but sometimes you just have to double check your subtraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her new number right there. So now it's 118. So part A says Lisa correctly. And I'm going to put Lisa decomposed a 10 and subtracted the numbers in the ones place correctly. She did everything right in the ones place. And what does she need to fix? Lisa needs to check her subtraction in the tens place. Five take away four is equal to one. So our number sentence should look like this. Okay, and that's it for today. So let's go ahead and take a look at our seesaw assignments. So for today, I'm not going to have you do um, some subtraction on Seesaw. I want to see if you can know your related facts just by looking at a number bond. Remember, if I have a number bond and it's 1 plus 2 equals 3, it would be 3 take away 1 equals 2, 3 take away 2 equals 1. You guys are used to doing that. So let's go ahead and use bigger numbers. So let's look at this one right here. I have my whole my part and my part. So I have one addition sentence and one subtraction sentence. So remember when you add and you have a number bond, you have to add the parts. So I'm going to add my parts. So I'm going to do 131 plus 122. And that is equal to 153. So you can see how I have part, part, whole. Now when I subtract, I have to start from my whole and I have to do 153 and let's take away a part. Now remember, it doesn't matter which part you could take away 31 or 122. It doesn't matter. And if your answer is different than someone else's, it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just take away 122 and that equals 31. So I did this first one for you and I want you to do the second number bond by yourself, 182 and you have 59 and 123 are your parts. And that's it for today. So go ahead and get this done and we'll see you next time. Bye.